Is she serious? For real, y'all, this is cute. So, yeah. <laughs> What's up, Lock family? Welcome back to Jazzy Locks. When your girl Jazz, I am back with another video. If you are new here, welcome, friend. Glad to have you. And for this video today, you all, you're already seeing the title. I'm going to be showing you all four different lock styles that you can do on your locks. And a good thing about these styles, these styles can be done on um, locks that have not been retwisted in a while. As you can see, I have not had a retwist in over three months now. So these locks can be done on freshly retwist locks or it can be done on locks that have not had a retwist in a while. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Before we do so, you already know what to do. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. We are waiting. We waiting, ain't we? Hmm? Yeah. Thank you. Also, check me out on Instagram. My Instagram is I'm just jazzy. I'm going to link it right here. And y'all, I have a special guest today with me. I have my baby boy. My youngest. Say hey, dear. He acting kind of funny, y'all. So I was trying to get the filming done for today's video. And he just wanted his mama, y'all. He he kept crying. And he wouldn't let me get the video filmed. And the grind don't stop. So I said, hey, I'm just going to bring him along with me. Well, this is a good time to show y'all. I know I showed you when he first got his lock started. And I showed you me retwisting his lock. So now I want to show you all how his hair has been doing since then. So it's going on three months since he started his locks. I wanna show you all that locks take patience. Locks can be all over your head, but it's all part of the process. So if you see Dill hair, look, you see his hair? So his locks are kind of everywhere right now, but that's okay, that's the beautiful thing of locks. So in the front, his locks are still locking, but in the back, my baby got full blown locks in the back, y'all. The, the back locked up quick. So here is one that's fully locked. Here is one that's fully locked. Here you go. So yeah, so that's what's going on with Dylan's hair right now. But I'm not gonna hold you too much longer. Let's go ahead on and get into the video. Okay, you have to sit down and be quiet while I do the video, okay? Okay? Okay. Five minutes later. Uh, I can't deal. He extra, y'all. He's extra. Okay. So as you see. All right, y'all. So what you'll need for today's video is um. So. You will need some Eco Style Gel. That's what I use. You will need some 24 hour. I don't mean to interrupt her or anything, but do you all see those nails that Jazz wearing? Yeah, them nails right there. Well, guess what? Great news. You can now purchase your own order of nails. She has started her new brand new press on nail business called Press on Vibes by Jazzy. You can go ahead on and check her out on Instagram. I'm gonna link the Instagram right here. And go ahead on and press your custom order today. Now, don't be looking at the right hand now because her middle finger is missing on the right hand, but it's okay. You get the gifs. So go ahead on and check out her Instagram. Go ahead and follow her and press your custom press on nail orders today. Let her know that I sent you. Of course, you're going to need your edge brush if you want to slit down your edges, but it's not a must. You don't have to do that. It's just your preference. You are going to need a shoestring. A shoestring? Yes, y'all. A shoestring. No breakage. You are going to need a scrunchie. And if you have it, I would say you would need a scarf. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all, Lock family, I am so, so sorry. The whole time I was filming the video, I did not realize that the top portion of my head was cut off. You only can see my forehead and down. But I did a really good job with uploading pictures also, so you should be able to see the final style in the end. But I did want to go ahead and let you know that I am aware, and I'm so sorry about that. So, 
Y'all have a great Monday. Okay, so for the first style, you're going to take your hair. You're going to part it in the middle. You're going to smooth it over this way. And then, ta-da! Is she serious? For real, y'all, this is cute. So, yeah, this is the first style. And if you want to get a little fancy with it, you can even do this. Get you your edge control. You don't need but a little bit. So I'm going to smooth, smooth, smooth. All right, so now we have the side part where the edge is laid. Okay, style number two. So you're gonna part right here. You're gonna part evenly on this side. Now take your scrunchie. Okay, so now you're going to split it down the middle. And what I do, I mix my 24 hour edge tamer with my olive oil together. And that does very well for my edges. I know everybody hair is different, but it does well for my edges. Look at the other side, do the same thing. Don't forget the edges up top. Voila. Style number two. All right, off to style number three. Okay, so for style number three, I'm gonna go ahead and take this back down and please be careful with taking it down. You see me struggling, I'm gonna pull all my locks out. Okay, so for style number three, you're going to need a shoestring. And the reason why I use a shoestring because as you just seen a while ago when I just took my hair down with a scrunchie, your hair can get caught in the scrunchie, can cause breakage, you can cause damage. But with a shoestring, shoestrings you can adjust the way you would like for it to be adjusted. Um, it's less retention and I just feel like shoestrings are a whole lot better. So if you can get you a shoestring, you got some old shoes that you don't use, then take them shoestrings and put them to the side for your locks. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and gather all my hair to the front. I'm gonna wrap the shoestring around the back. Pull tight, but don't pull too tight. I know y'all like, what is she doing? But stick with me, stick with me. It's gonna get better, okay? I'm going to take one out. And this is the style that I was rocking in my last video. Not last video, but my video when I went down my three year lock visual journey, this was the style I was actually rocking. So, I have a little excess hair. You wanna get a little brush, brush it. I'm going to twist it around. And I'm doing this because I have not had a retwist in over three months, as I mentioned. And to make my locks stay in place, I'm going to get a little clip and clip it right there. Same thing with my other lock. I'm gonna get a little gel. And if you can, don't do this often because it can cause buildup. And we don't want build up. So it's very important once you get done with this style to make sure you, you know, um, wash your locks out on the end. So I'm retwisting this one. I don't know where my other small clip went, so I'm just going to put a big clip on this one. And so while I'm waiting for these two to set, I'm going to go ahead on and do a little bit more to my edges.
Okay, so I'm just checking over it to see how it look. These two should have set by now. See? Oh, voila. This one should have set by now. Sorry, I'm country. Ooh. We're going to act like that one set. Voila. And sorry, my shirt is not doing right today. But voila, this is what you get in the end. And if you want to add a little more spice to it, you can take one in the back right here and one in the back right here. You can twist those also, and then you can let those hang also. So this is how it would look in the back. And then you have this style in the front. All right, off to the next style. So for the next style, you can put these back up and put this one back up. You can put these back up and what you're going to do you're going to get your scarf you're going to start from the back you're going to wrap it around and then you're going to cross in the front and we're crossing in the front to create illusion of a style right so we're gonna cross this in the front, right? Pull it on to the back. So, boom, style number four. And you can even, if you wanna get a little fancy with it, tie a knot in the back like that. Okay, so now sis just doing stuff. It is not giving. All right, y'all, for the very last and final style, we're gonna attempt two piggy tails. So, you're gonna need two scrunchies. You're going to split your hair down the middle. Leave one out to give you a bang look, or you can put it in. I'm going to leave it out. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. And voila! You have two ponytails. Now you look like a cheerleader <laughs> y'all know i'm extra but all right y'all so i have showed y'all different styles you can do with your lock um these styles works on retwist locks that have not been retwisted and if your hair is long enough it can work on starter locks as well i hope this video was informative to you you can try these styles out and they work for you and i catch you all in this video deuces <laughs>